of a nutrition series. Whether you are here for a workshop or a cooking demonstration, get ready to experience a fun, interactive, and educational session. This evening, you will get nutritional tools and cooking tips for you and your family on how to enjoy the holiday season while maintaining your wellness goals. Again, welcome and thank you for joining us for our celebration of Healthy Holiday Nutrition Series. My name is Edlene Dormaville and I am a health and wellness assistant with the Department of Parks and Recreation. Before we begin, let's go over a few housekeeping items. You should see a microphone icon at the bottom of your screen like you see here on this screen. You will need to click this icon to mute yourself. We ask that you remain muted to limit any distractions during our program. Next, I want to draw your attention to the camera icon. You will use this to turn your camera off and on. Please be mindful that when your camera is on, all participants joining us this evening will be able to see your screen. You have the option to keep your camera on or turn it off, but remember we want to minimize distractions throughout the program and keep the focus on the presentation being provided. Next, I would like to show you how to pin a participant. To do this, you will need to click on the show participants icon. In the participants column, select the individual you want to see on your screen, then tap the three dots icon to reveal a menu. From the drop down menu, select pin for me. The pinned participant becomes the focus in your view and only your view, regardless of the speaker. To unpin, repeat these three steps and select unpin. Repeat the same process to pin an additional participant. Please note, if you are in a web browser, the PowerPoint presentation will be a, in a smaller window at the top or bottom of your screen. Next, I would like to draw your attention to a new Teams feature. You can now turn on live closed captions during the meeting. To do this, you will click on the three dots for more options. Then you can scroll down and find the options that says turn on live captions. Then you will start to see captions at the bottom of your screen. You may choose to turn this feature on if needed. The last icon that I want to tell you about is the chat icon. This will allow you to ask questions throughout the program. To type a question, you will just click on the icon like the one you see on the screen to bring up the chat box and it should take you to what you will see on the next slide. Once you see the chat box, as you see on the screen here, there will be a space for you to type your question in. Hit enter and we will see your question on the screen. Please ask your question throughout the program and there will be time at the end to answer your questions. We are looking forward to a great discussion. So without further ado, I would like to introduce our trained professional for the evening. Melanie Burdick is a registered dietitian, licensed dietitian nutritionist, certified diabetes care and education specialist, certified specialist in obesity and weight management, and a certified personal trainer. She holds a Bachelor's of Science in Dietetics from Eastern Michigan University and a Master's in Science in Applied Nutrition from the University of New England. She believes in practical steps for improving health and wellness where no foods are off limits. Me too. Welcome, Melanie. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, yes, and this is a perfect time of year to talk about how all foods can fit. So thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna share my screen here and then we will get, uh, get started. Wonderful. All right. Well, good evening, everyone. Again, I am Melanie Burdick, and I'm a registered dietitian and a member of the Healthy Living Team at Giant Food, and I'm one of the Baltimore-based dietitians. And I'll walk through some of our services at the end of today's program. But tonight, we're going to take a virtual walk through the store, and we're going to highlight some holiday picks because I'm sure all of us have in the back of our mind that Thanksgiving is coming up in just a couple of days. So definitely holidays are on our minds. And so I'll talk about some of the great picks that you can look for that are also great options for your health as well. 
All right, so for the agenda tonight, so we're going to take a virtual walk through the store. We're going to hit all the major sections and I'll give you some tips for success as we move our way through this store. Now, certainly uh, we think about, uh, you know, shopping. The shopping landscape has changed so much over the last few years. So whether you're planning to go shopping in store or you plan to have someone else do it for you, there's lots of ways uh, that you can get all of your groceries and your holiday selections in no time. So great options that are available. Giant pickup, you can put your order in online at giantfood.com and then you can select your favorite store location. And in about four hours, you're gonna have your groceries waiting for you, which is fabulous. Or you can have them delivered to you as well, right to your doorstep. Uh, again, you can put that order information on in online at giantfood.com and both are wonderful. And just takes the stress out of that, that shopping routine. So let's talk about grocery shopping. Of course, you know, we want to make sure that we are planning for success. So we want to make sure that we have a game plan before we go shopping. And this is good for every part of the year, not just for the holidays. So before you go shopping, we want to make sure that we do have something to eat. There is nothing worse than walking through the store with a grumbling stomach. I'm sure we've all been there. And then also making sure that you have a game game plan for the week, a list of all of your go-to items that you need, or a list of recipes for the week. That way you can really try to keep your spending in line as well. Because I know sometimes if it's not on the list, you know, uh, there can be a few extra things that can fall into my cart. And before you know it, uh, we might spend a little bit more than planned. Now, a great little tip that we always love to share with customers is we want to aim for our grocery cart or our basket, depending on how much we're purchasing, to be half cart produce. In the next couple of slides, I'll show you the USDA My Plate, which is a great representation of how our plate should look uh, at meals. And we have half of that plate being produce. So a great way to get all that produce on your plate is to think about filling your cart halfway with produce. And then, of course, too, you know, there's our, there are a lot of impulses, especially in the holiday season. Uh, there's so many different things uh, that are lurking around each corner when you're shopping. So definitely keep that list handy and try to keep those impulses to a minimum. And that's going to help keep your bill in check. And then also when you're shopping, there are lots of signs. There are sale signs. There are call outs for new products. There's also call outs for local products as well, too. So whatever is important to you, definitely look up and down on the shelves and check out the signs when you're shopping. And that's really going to help guide you through the store. Now, there are two icons that I want to bring your attention to when you're shopping at Giant. So on the left-hand side of the screen here, we have our Guiding Stars program. This is our nutritional rating program. And so this is an easy way to find things that are better for you, but also help meet your needs. So when you're shopping, take a look for one, two, or three star uh, logos across the store. And so when you're in the aisles, take a look at that shelf tag that's right Right below the price on the shelf, it's going to indicate one, two, or three stars. More stars, that means that product is more nutritionally dense. So it has more fiber, protein, more vitamins and minerals, less fat, and sodium. Now, an extra bonus when it comes to guiding stars, and I'll talk about some different ways that you can save a little bit more when you're shopping in the next couple of slides, but a really good bonus is that if you have a giant bonus card, if you opt into our flexible rewards program, all Guiding Star rated products actually have two times the flexible reward points. So shopping the stars means that you're going to get more bang for your buck by buying those items that are more nutritionally dense. So every 100 points is a dollar off at the register or the gas pump. So uh, I'll take that. So I'll talk more about flexible rewards in the next couple of slides. Now, real briefly, on the other side of the screen, we have our impact ratings. These are powered by our good friends at How Good. And really, this is looking at the impact that products have on their environment. So manufacturing, uh, treatment of animals, really just all of those different considerations that, that go into manufacturing, manufacturing food uh, can really take a toll on the ozone 
own layer. So uh, uh, businesses and manufacturers that are a little bit better to the environment, more sustainable, receive more leaves, one, two, or three leaves. So more means it's better for the environment. So take a close look the next time you're shopping. Take a look at that price tag on the shelf. And again, that uh, the high, How Good logo or the Guiding Stars logo will be right on that shelf tag. All right, so I know a lot of us, you know, budget is on our mind when it comes to daily shopping, but also for the holidays too. So one of the most important things, if you're shopping at a giant location, make sure that you have that giant bonus card. You can tap into some additional savings uh, and reward points. And then again, opt into our flexible rewards program. So all you have to do, you can go online to giantfood.com and opt into it, or you can stop by the customer service desk as well for more information. Uh, definitely a great way to save a little bit more when you're shopping. And then, of course, checking out the sales flyer. Super, super important. Definitely a great way to help you plan for meals throughout the week, but also get in, lot in preparation for the sales uh, that are going to be happening before the holidays. And then, of course, shopping in season. So if we uh, can purchase things that are abundant right now, so root vegetables, leafy greens, these are going to be great options and cheaper per pound as well, too. So definitely saves, saves a few bucks at the register. And then, of course, making sure if you can, choosing those store brands, comparing name brand versus store brand. They might be right next to each other on the shelf, but there might be a significant difference in the price, uh, but practically the same quality. Many of these items actually come from the same manufacturer. And then, of course, as we're getting ready for the holidays, you know, really thinking and planning ahead if you can and keeping the lookout for those specific ingredients that are on your menu for this season and see if you can tap into some of those sales early on. And then, of course, family size. So buying a larger bag of frozen vegetables or frozen meat is definitely going to be cheaper per pound or per ounce. And again, that will save you as well, too. And then looking at other options frozen or canned as we walk through the sections i'll highlight some of our favorite picks uh, especially in the produce area for these items and then also too taking a close look at the unit price versus the retail price uh this can really help you narrow down hey if i buy that larger package it's going to be cheaper per pound or out so really being savvy when it comes to shopping and definitely, if there's anything that people love to do or any little tips or tricks that you love to do to save money, feel free at any time, throw them into the chat. Let us know what are some of the things that you love to do. Do you clip coupons? Do you do digital coupons? What works for you? Uh, definitely anything you'd like to share is always helpful for the audience. All right, so as we're getting into our shopping trip, whoop, whoops, yeah, sorry, everybody, I went. Too far ahead, there we go. <laughs> Let's try this again. So as we start our shopping trip, we wanna think about using the USDA MyPlate, like I mentioned earlier, as a method to preparing our meals and helping us navigate the store as we walk through. So the MyPlate recommends half plate produce, a quarter whole grains, and a quarter lean protein. And that can also include different dairy items as well. So usually when we stop or start our shopping trip, as we walk through the doors of the store, we grab our cart, maybe we grab the circular, we are more than likely going to be in that produce section. So this is a wonderful place to start your shopping trip. And so when you think about the produce section, just thinking about all the different colors and the varieties, and even just going back to this slide just momentarily, you can see here red, orange, yellow, green, all these different pigments that you see in the produce section. These are super uh, nutrient dense items. They contain vitamins and minerals. And each of those different pigments, pigments provides us with different nutrients to meet our uh, nutritional needs. So eating the rainbow uh, when you're shopping. So uh, a little challenge, see if you can get several different colors of the rainbow the next time that you're shopping. 
And then, of course, as I mentioned earlier, eating in season. So really stocking up on those items that are more abundant right now. Root vegetables, leafy greens like kale. These are going to be much cheaper uh, per pound. Another great option, apples or pears. Uh, perfect uh, for some holiday cooking. And then other questions that come up in this area, hey, you know, organic versus conventional, what one, you know, should uh, customers pick? This comes up very frequently. And really when it when we compare the two, it's really just a personal preference when it comes to your food choices. Organic is an agricultural designation. And so it just indicates how that product was grown. Did it use pesticides or other alternative measures or were the items pesticide free? So really Really just a personal choice. There can be a price difference. So really whatever works for you, whether you choose conventional or organic, you're still going to get wonderful nutrients and it's going to help you meet all of your needs. And the biggest suggestion I would say is make sure you just wash everything properly. Make sure you get any of that residue off any of your produce items. Now, as you're navigating the produce section, there are so many options available. And then this slide and the next slide, I'll show you just a few of many that are available. But definitely things to look out for. There are lots of shortcuts. So you don't have to be a chef to have a wonderful array of fruits and vegetables on your plate. There are a lot of shortcuts. So for instance, using the squash noodle medley, the spiralized squash noodles are already ready to go. All you have to do is put in the oven or put in a skillet. It. Other things too, like the bagged salads, Taylor Farms or Dole, these are great. These are a go-to in my house. And so you have all the toppings and the dressing right in the bag. Now, other things you can look for, prepped fruit, even your frozen vegetables as well. That's going to extend out of the produce section, but definitely a great option. And then other things, as we're getting into that holiday spirit, think about picking up some fresh herbs or spices in the produce area as well. And so here are just a few of the wonderful holiday produce selections uh, that you can put into your cart this season if you're looking for some ideas for holiday recipes. So one of my favorites, cranberries. I love to buy these when they're on sale. They freeze really well, and then you can pull them out when you need them uh, for the holidays. So it's a great way to save. Other things, root vegetables. So we've got potatoes and sweet potatoes, parsnips and carrots. These are great for a roasted vegetable medley. Highly recommend. And these are generally cheaper per pound. Other things, Brussels sprouts. Here we have them prepped and ready to go. All you have to do is add your favorite cooking oil, put on a cookie sheet with some seasoning, and you've got a wonderful meal in no time. One of my favorites for the holidays. Now, also too, there are other alternatives. If you want some shortcuts or items that are a little bit cheaper, opt for the frozen items. So here we have the butternut squash that's all frozen, ready to go. It's a great way if you'd like to make some pureed butternut squash, or maybe you're making a roasted medley, this is a great option as well. And then also too, you can pick up your acorn squash, butternut squash that's fresh. These actually have a long shelf life, so you can buy them ahead of time. Other great things, the palm arrows are great. If you love pomegranates, a wonderful pop of color for your holiday season. So even if you pick up a, a bagged salad, put some pomegranate arrows on, maybe you put on some roasted vegetables on that salad, you've got a great meal in no time that really takes in all the flavors of the season. And just a few examples of easy ways that you can add more produce to your menu. So I highly recommend at the bottom of the screen, the roasted Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes. They are excellent. I made these for Thanksgiving last year. These are from our Savory magazine. So you can visit giantfood.com to access them. Highly, highly recommend. I'm looking forward to this this year. Other good things, green bean casserole that you can use frozen or canned beans or taking that acorn squash and slicing and roasting it. So lots of wonderful options if you're looking for a nice side dish this, uh, this holiday. All right.
So as we navigate through the store, we also want to check out our meat and seafood. So actually, as we navigate on the plate, we know that that big section that we want to focus on is protein. So typically after we leave the produce area, we're going to head right into our meat and seafood area. Now, there are a lot of options when it comes to protein, especially for the holidays. Now, ideally, what we want to focus on are lean meats, so, so things that are lower in saturated fat. That's important for heart health. So lots of wonderful options. Of course, we know that turkey is a big one this holiday season, so definitely a great option. Now, one thing that you can do, if there are any sale items right now, if there's any promotions for turkeys and you have storage room, maybe consider buying a second one so you have all of that wonderful lean meat available and you can cook it at a later time and can be used in a lot of different recipes. Now, also, too, if you buy a turkey uh, in the next few days, this is a great opportunity to actually get more flexible reward points. Anyone that buys a turkey will get 1500 flexible rewards points which is a really great saving so i highly recommend now other great things that we can utilize for our meals of course, chicken breast, uh, even turkey breast, that's another great option. Or even looking at other things like shrimp, if you're looking for appetizers or maybe some, some small uh, side dishes at meals, this would be a great lean option. And of course, looking at frozen or canned seafood, this is a great uh, choice for meals throughout the week. So here we have the Alaskan sac sockeye salmon. These are wonderful. They're individually frozen. Just pull out what you need and you could have a great meal in no time. Now, there are lots of different options available for anyone that says, hey, you know, I'm looking for some alternatives, maybe some plant-based items. Well, there are a lot of choices available in this store. So especially for the holidays, if you have any plant-based friends, tofurkey is always a great option uh, for a plant-based uh, roast. Um, but also looking at other things like beans, lentils, or tofu, tempeh, which is fermented soybeans. Lots of great options uh, that you can utilize in your cooking and also during the holidays. Now, one of the most important things with any of these products that have been uh, pre-packaged or seasoned, we want to make sure that we're looking at the nutrition facts label to make sure that it meets our goals for sodium or fat or any other health considerations, but lots of different options that are available. And having a quarter of our plate protein is a great way to help us meet our protein needs throughout the day, but also keep us satisfied between meals. All right, so as we move along, as we move into the dairy section, one of my favorite areas of the store, and you can see here when we look at the USDA MyPlay, we have that section at the top for dairy. Now, there are lots of different options available, and many of our dairy products also provide us with a great amount of protein as well, too. So we can get protein from different areas on the plate. All right, so lots of different options that we have available in the dairy section. Of course, this is where we're going to find a variety of different things. Milk, eggs, yogurt, and different cheeses. Now, when we're thinking about the holidays, definitely we're going to be doing some baking. So maybe it's picking up a larger container of, of eggs, a great option that's very multi-purpose. Uh, but other wonderful things that you can try. We know that plant-based milks are definitely trendy and we're going to find them in the dairy section. So looking for some fun holiday themed items like oat nog. If we have any eggnog fans uh, that's made by Chobani, it's made from oats. Or we have Khalifa Farms, which has the almond milk nog. And I have to say, I tried this last year. And if we have any eggnog fans, this is a great option if you're looking for something a little bit lower in calories, but also plant based. 
Now, of course, other things we want to consider, especially for the holidays when it comes to baking or getting ready for your big meals. This, this is where we'll find our different margarine or butter varieties. And as you can see here, there are a lot of different options available. Plant based has definitely found its way in each area of the store. So even looking for things like country crock, they have the plant butter now that's made from olive oil or avocado oil. So just some wonderful things that you can look for if you're looking for something a little bit new or different. Other things that are great options for meals, but then also great additions to recipes or a great way uh, to make a swap opportunity or a healthier swap or a healthier meal substitution when you're baking. So for instance, if you have a recipe that calls for, maybe it calls for uh, you know milk or sour cream, you can actually use Greek yogurt in replace of that to help lower the fat and calories. So just just some wonderful things that you can use for any recipe uh, swaps in your baking. But then also other things too, if you're making any dips or any other entrees, even looking for things like the reduced fat milks, we have the reduced fat cream cheese, or even kefir, which is a fermented dairy product. So they call it the champagne of dairy. So fun options that you can utilize in this section. Now, another great thing to look for as well, we know charcuterie boards have been really popular over the last few years. And so even picking up the Cabot sliced cheese, this is a great option if you're using, uh, if you're making a charcuterie board or an appetizer, uh, for the holidays, it's already sliced, minimal fuss. For ice cream, you can come with a ice cream and cut. Thank you. I know. Uh -huh. No, oh, and I just want to just pause for just a moment here. I um, just want to make sure that everybody is on mute. We are getting a little bit of background noise. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. All right. All right. Now, as we navigate through the stores, one of the myths that we typically hear is that we should shop the perimeter to find items that are the most nutritious for us. But one of the things that we love to myth bust at Giant is that we can find better for you items in every aisle of the store. And what I love about the center aisles is that these are wonderful staples for our pantry. These have a long shelf life and they are generally inexpensive. So a win-win. And in the center aisles, we also are going to find our grains. So the last quarter of our plate is uh, composed of grains, ideally whole grains. So as we navigate the aisles, there are lots of options that we can look for in this grain section. Now, grains are a wonderful energy source. They're so tasty and wonderful. There are so many different options available. Now, when we're shopping, ideally we want to aim for those whole grains if we can do it. Whole grains have more fiber and protein, more phytonutrients, and they take longer to digest. So that's really good for our blood sugars and having additional fiber in our diet can help with our heart health and our gut health. So it's a win-win. So when we're shopping these center aisles and we're looking for our different grains, a couple of little tips that we can utilize. We want to find those high fiber choices. So when you're looking at the nutrition facts label for crackers, bread, or cereal, or any ingredients that you're shopping for, if you can find items with three grams of fiber or more per serving, these are a great option. Now, there are, there's, you can see here at the bottom of the screen, if you are looking for ways to easily identify whole grains, the Whole Grain Council stamp makes it a whole lot easier. So at the bottom of the screen, we have this stamp. Now you'll see this on a variety of different products. You'll see it printed on the front, the back, or the side. Now this is a voluntary stamp, but it's just an easy way to help customers uh, realize what's in their products and easily identify whole grains. So looking from left to right, if you see a 100% stamp on a package, that means that all of the grains in the product are whole. Nothing's been refined, so you're getting all those wonderful nutrients. If you see a 50%, that means that there are some whole grain and some refined grains. And then if you see one with no percentage on the far right, that means that less than half of the grains are whole. So it might be a little bit lower in fiber. 
So there are lots of options that you can look for. So next time you're shopping, keep a lookout for this label. Also take a look in your pantry. You might be surprised what you find that has a whole grain council stamp on it. Now, one of the big trends that's really going on right now, I'm sure a lot of us have seen, are some of the alternative pastas, chickpea pasta, edamame pasta, red lentil. There's all different types that are available. If anyone's tried any of these, let me know in the chat. What did you think? <laughs> but these are a great way to add more plants to your day, but also add in more fiber and protein. Now, also, too, we can use some shortcuts when it comes to shopping. We don't always have to boil that pot of water if we're in a hurry. So there are lots of heat and eat alternative uh, packets that are available that I'll highlight on the next on the next slide. So easy, easy additions that you can make to your meals. So one option for the heat and eat uh, selections would be the minute brown rice or the quinoa. This red quinoa is already cooked. All you have to do is put it into the microwave and it's good to go. Super, super easy. Now, other things that we love to point out if you're doing any baking or making waffles or pancakes or muffins this holiday season, I highly recommend the Kodiak cakes. These are a great option. They have more whole grains and additional protein. So a great option. Now, other things that are wonderful choices, Dave's Killer Bread is a great option for whole grains and a great option for unsaturated fats because of the added nuts and seeds to the bread. So it gives you a little bit of body and crunch. So a wonderful option. Now, other things, if you're looking for maybe some different grains or maybe you're making some soup, or maybe you're making some grain bowls this uh, holiday season. Farro or amaranth or teff or even wild rice. These are great whole grain options uh, that you can easily swap out in your recipes. Barley is another great option. And of course, other wonderful things like Triscuit. I know a lot of us have grown up with that. One of my staples in, in my childhood It's a whole grain option. Or other things like the whole wheat pasta or the tortillas, which are made with chia and, chia and quinoa. A great option for more fiber and protein. That's great. I do have here in the chat, I've oh, tried sure. the bonza noodles. And Yolanda said that she's tried veggie pasta and she likes it. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Um, definitely uh, fun to try. There's lots of different options. I've had the bonza as well, too. Very, very tasty. Excellent. Perfect. Now, on uh, another uh, area that I want to call out, especially as we're talking about grains, uh, is uh, our handpicked product of the month. And this is perfect timing. Um, again, if you're looking for options for a nice appetizer or a beautiful charcuterie board for the holidays, Triscuit is our product of the month. So a great option that Healthy Living Team loves and a wonderful whole grain option as well, too. So if you're in the cracker aisle or looking for something for a nice snack or or something for a holiday party, definitely you can't go wrong with wheat thins or triscuits. So a wonderful option uh, for your next party or get together. Now, as we go through the center aisles, like I mentioned earlier, this is where we're going to find all of those wonderful pantry staples. Maybe we can save a few dollars as well and then get a lot out of our shelf life as well. So this is a great area that I highly recommend. Now, also, too, this is where we can find things that meet our needs. Maybe it's reduced sodium canned goods or canned fruit with no added sugar. Great options to get all the produce uh, in your day. So wonderful things that we can look for. Now, I'll highlight some of our go-to pantry staples. Now, these are great to have and are multi-purpose for lots of different recipes, including the holidays. So here are some general ones that we recommend on a daily basis. Then I have some holiday ones on the next one for you on the next slide as well. Things like old-fashioned oatmeal, canned beans, or fruit cocktail. Wonderful options. You can see here that we have chicken broth. You could also use vegetable or beef broth. Reduced sodium to help lower the amount of salt in your dishes can make a significant difference in your blood pressure and your health, but still have lots of flavor. And of course, any of our different pasta varieties, lentils, brown rice, and then keeping some cans of, say, uh, canned chicken or tuna fish or salmon. These are wonderful. And then again, having canned tomatoes or nut butters, these are great. Now, one of the great things I mentioned earlier, the long shelf life. 
often on a lot of pantry staples, we see a best buy or best use by date or use before date that's printed on these packages. Now that date is actually a recommendation from the manufacturer. It's a quality date, not a safety date. So if you have an item that is unopened and you use it after the date that's printed on the label, that's okay. Uh, you can use your best judgment, but definitely you could still utilize your brown rice or your pasta well after the date that's printed on the package. A wonderful resource that I love to tell customers about is foodsafety.gov. If you have a question about whether or not you should use an item or how long you should keep it in your pantry, a wonderful resource. I highly recommend, and that can give you peace of mind uh, when using some of your staple products in the kitchen. And here are some other holiday staples, some wonderful items that are great to have on hand or keep a lookout for when they're on sale so you can stock up for the holidays. So wonderful things like fat free, free evaporated milk. If you're making pies or any desserts this season, this is a great option to still give you that flavor but help reduce the fat. And this is a great option if you're making pumpkin pies this season. Also our canned pumpkin, this is great for dessert or for a side dish. And then also having things like walnuts or pecans, a great topping uh, for your salads or side dishes. And then also too, I know stuffing is a popular one in the holidays, but also uh, you can buy it prepped and ready to go without the additional seasoning. And then you can add different spices to your medley to help control that sodium. Now, other things that can come in handy, we definitely know that with the holidays comes baking, and there are lots of different baking flours that are available. So whether you're cooking for yourself or a loved one, there are different alternatives available, like almond flour or gluten-free flour, if you have anyone in your family uh, that has celiac disease. Or if you're looking for a healthier alternative, whole wheat flour, the King Arthur variety is a great option. So definitely some things to have on hand or have uh, in your shopping cart this season. Other things, applesauce is a great addition to recipes. You can use it in replace of cooking oil. Uh, if you're making muffins or other desserts, it's a great way to cut the fat. So it's great to have some applesauce on hand. Canned fruit, it always comes in handy. And then definitely don't forget all of those holiday spices, ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, uh, really just transforms your dishes. And of course, things like your uh, vanilla extract, always good to have on hand. All right, and as we round through the store, another area that I always highly recommend that customers navigate through is our Nature's Promise section at Giant. And generally, this is located right next to the produce area in our stores. Now, the Nature's Promise section is where you can find some of our products that are organic or free from different ingredients or allergen-friendly products as well, too. So if you have any family that's coming over for the holidays or you're cooking for coworkers and you need to find some other alternatives for products or ingredients, this is a great aisle to navigate. Also, I highly recommend this aisle because this is where all the trends start. This is where you start to see some of the new uh, items come into the store. So things like our alternative flowers or our plant-based pastas and other snacks. These are This is a great section to navigate through. So definitely take a walk the next time you're in this store. All right, and as we finish through the store, of course, our deli section, you know, this is a great place to find things that are prepped and ready to go and really can be a time saver. Now, when it comes to the deli, we definitely want to make sure that we're paying close attention to our different nutrition facts labels. When we have things that are prepped and ready to go, sometimes the fat and sodium or calories can vary. So we definitely want to make sure that we're paying close attention to those items that they meet our needs. And then if you're using the deli section or the prepared foods for your meals, just remember to follow my plate. So produce and protein and grains with a meal to get that balance. And then, of course, too, if you need just a small amount of something, maybe you need a few hard boiled eggs or some different toppings, you can always grab those from the salad bar. And then that way you just have a small amount and you have minimal waste. 
So wonderful things that you can look for on a regular uh, shopping trip, things like our rotisserie chicken or looking for some great snack foods like hummus or other dips, things like ready to go pastas or ravioli. These are great for a quick meal or soups that you can grab and go or other sandwiches as well. And I wanted to just point out a couple of different holiday themed items that you can utilize this season if you're looking for something for a party or get together. Of course, maybe you're taking a fruit or a vegetable platter to a party. Well, you can pair it with something like a pumpkin pie hummus or a dark chocolate hummus. Definitely can be a talking point at your next get together. Or like I've mentioned a few times, charcuterie boards are a great way to have a variety of different items at a party. Picking up some seasonal cheese like the cranberry cinnamon goat cheese or the pumpkin spice, spice gouda. And then other things, if you need a quick meal on the go, you can pick up something like our grilled salmon medley here at the top that has your grilled salmon vegetables and a rice peel off so super easy now we even made it even easier this holiday season you can actually purchase your entire thanksgiving meal at the deli as well too so you can actually order an entire meal for a whole family or for two people as well so we've definitely made it super super easy so all wonderful things that you can find in the deli area this season and lastly, as we wrap up, you might be thinking, all right, I really got to start planning my recipes and my, my menus, and I need some inspiration. Well, definitely check out our Savory Magazine. Here is the most recent edition. You can pick up a copy in the store, or you can visit giantfood.com and take a look at the digital copy as well. And then checking out online, there are meal planning apps and cooking websites that can help you plan your meals throughout the holidays and then throughout the entire year. So great options, uh, cookinglight.com, tablespoon.com are great for quick meal ideas or consider using a meal planning app like Dinner Time. Yumly is a great one as well too. You can put in your eating preferences, then it'll generate recipes for you on a weekly basis. So it really makes uh, meal planning uh, uh, very, very simple. All right, and as we wrap up today, just a little bit more about what we do at Giant. So we have our healthy living team and we provide free services throughout the region. So whether you say, oh, I'd really like to have an individual consultation to talk in more detail about my needs. Absolutely, you can actually take your camera on your phone. You can scan these QR codes. It'll take you directly to our website uh, where you can learn more. We're also on Facebook and TikTok if we have any social media media gurus out there. So you can definitely follow along with us online. And then we have our Healthy Living by Giant podcast, just a wealth of information. We have over 100 episodes on topics from new products in store to managing heart health or diabetes. So something for everyone. And lastly, before I follow up with any questions, just want to put a little plug about our program that is coming up for January. It's going to be here before you know it. So starting in January, the Healthy Living Team is going to be offering our Healthier Together virtual series, the five-week program to help get you ready for the new year. So we'll talk about how to be more mindful in the coming year, talk about healthy habits and fitness goals, and and really how to balance your plate at meals. So you can feel free, you can scan the QR code on the screen, or you can just visit our website, giantfood.com. So we'd love to have you for our virtual series. And with that, I will actually, I will, I will stop my, whoop, let's see here. I will stop my share and see if we have any questions. I don't see any questions in the chat box. No questions in the chat. All right. Going once, going twice. Great. Well, what I will do, I will put in our contact information here in the chat. And you know, here. Uh oh. What did I click? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This was great. I think the tips at the beginning was wonder were wonderful, especially the ones about the little symbols and what they mean and if you mm -hmm. can get more points or if they're organic. Yeah. That was really good. 
Yeah, yeah, just the little ways to save a little bit more, but then also find things that can meet your your health and wellness needs. So uh, just some wonderful things to look for while you're shopping. Yeah, that All was great. Right. Well, if there are no questions, I will turn it back over to you. All right. Well, thank you. Um, and everyone on the call, just want to let you know, just a couple announcements. We want your feedback. So complete the survey in 24 hours to be entered in a drawing for the health and wellness gift bag. So we will send you um, the survey link in a few. The program recording is available upon request. And please join us for our next session, Let Us Eat workshop on November 22nd from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. An in-person cooking demonstration, sweet potato hash and yummy yams at Southern Area Aquatics and Recreation Complex will be held on November 30th from 6 to 7 p.m. Please be sure to register through parksdirect.com. Thank you everyone for joining and thank you so much, Melanie. Healthy Holiday Nutrition Series. For more videos to help you make healthier choices, visit the Department of Parks and Recreation's online resource center at pgparks.com or the Health and Wellness Virtual Library at wellness.pgparks.com. Until next time, be healthy, be well.